Yo, what's up guys? Dean Vernon here. So today I'm going to use two of the biggest memes of the century to show you guys how to Photoshop one person's face onto someone else's and have it look realistic. So let's get right to it. Here's a picture of Donald Trump doing his thing. I don't know what is up with his eyes here. He kind of looks like some cyborg or something. All right, and then here's a picture of America's favorite woman, Carol Baskin. And we're going to put Carol Baskin's face onto Donald Trump's face in that picture of him or trying to dump as I call him. So first step is going to be zooming into Carol Baskin's face and cutting out her face. So I'm gonna use the lasso tool and I'm gonna trace around the main features of her face, you know, her eyes and mouth and stuff. And we wanna go around these features because we only need her face. We don't wanna get her hair or anything or else her hair would have, uh, her hair wouldn't look very good on Mr. Donald Trump. Um, so we're gonna take that and then we're gonna drag that into the picture file of Donald Trump it, it distorts very weird when you drag it in for some reason, so just drag it out to its normal look, you know, just her normal beautiful face. Then we're going to place it over Mr. Trump's face and we're going to lower the opacity so that we can line up the eyes properly so we can see through both images. So now I can see her eyes and his eyes at the same time. I'm going to scale Mrs. Baskin down um, and line up their eyes. You can stretch out the face a little bit um, because if you stretch it out a little bit, it still looks realistic. Um, but you don't want to stretch out too much or else they'll start looking like aliens and shit. So I'm going to line up her mouth kind of with Mr. Trump's and then her nose and eyes look pretty good, I guess. And then rotate it a little bit because Trump's head is at a slight angle. So I think that's all good now. So now we're going to put the opacity back up and you can see that Miss Baskin's face is right on top of Mr. Trump's. So then we're going to hold down command and press on layer one, which is Carol's layer. And then we're gonna to go to image adjustments and go down to match color so that we can match the color of uh, Baskin's face to Donald Trump's. So we're gonna to go to source and select tronald.jpg because that is the source of the color that we want. And we're gonna select layer zero um, because that is the layer that that is on. So it knows that we can blend Carol's face with that layer and those colors in that layer. Kind of confusing, I know, but then we can use the fade, the color intensity, and the luminance sliders to more precisely match the colors. So we're going to drag that up a little bit. It's looking a little better. We're not going to be able to get it exactly on point, so uh, just get it as close as you can for this part. Yeah, luminance down a little bit. We'll back up. Yeah, that's good. Color intensity, you don't want to make it too much because then her face looks really saturated. You want the colors to be on the same level as the background picture. So we're going to command D to deselect everything so it looks like it's getting, it's getting there. So now we're going to want to get rid of all of the unnecessary parts of Miss Baskin's face. Um, so like her forehead and her cheeks and stuff, we, we don't really need that because we need uh, more of Trump's facial skin to blend better with her facial features like her nose and her mouth and eyes and stuff, so. Um, wow, she's really starting to look like like E.T. here. <laughs> so that's good. Now you can see that we get better lighting from Trump's face and stuff, so that will blend better when we do that step. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're going to go to Select, Modify, Contract, and uh, make the value 5 and what this does is uh, scale down the selection a little bit so we're gonna delete Mr. Trump's face on the bottom layer um, so now there's overlap between Baskin's face and Trump's face so that uh, so that they can blend together on the edges better and now for the final step we're gonna go to edit auto blend layers and make sure everything's selected and voila freaking Donald Baskin freaking gorgeous. So the lighting looks a little bright on the face right now and not uh, orange enough to blend with Trump's skin tone. So now we're going to go to the brush and we're going to make sure the brush is black and make sure the opacity that I have is at 5% so it doesn't make it too dark. So that now um, this should darken the skin on her face or his face or her face, I don't know, um, to, to match the color completely and make the skin uh, flow better. So let's just brush over everything. See, that's already looking way more realistic. That's looking great, looking great. 
Now we need to make the, the eyes are a little dark, so we're going to bring out the eyes using the dodge tool. So just make sure it's on shadows and brush over the eyes to make them a little brighter. And then the mouth is still a little too white. I don't know why it's not making the mouth area brighter. So we're going to go back to the brush and make sure it's black again. Then this time we're going to lower the opacity a little bit to 15 um, so it's not too dark again. And it is going to be... There we go. Yep, it's nice and orangish to match Trump's weird, tan, awkward skin tone. And that looks pretty realistic to me, man. Uh, just, you know, fix up the forehead a little bit. And I think that's, I, I think that's it. I think that's, that's looking good. So now let's see the final product. Oh, looks, looks absolutely beautiful. That's gorgeous. So here's the before and after. We took these two pictures and combined them into one. Here's the picture of Donald Trump's face, and here's the picture with Carol Baskin's face on it. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> okay. Well, I hope that this helped anyone who is trying to learn how to Photoshop someone's face onto someone else. Let me know if you would like to see more demonstrations with face swapping. Make sure to check out my other videos on this channel. I do a bunch of vlogs and challenges and stuff. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace.